Well, metallic bonding is positive metal ions in a sea of electrons, and there are two trends that you need to know. As you go down group one or group two, the melting point decreases, so those metallic bonds must be getting weaker as you go down the groups. But as you go across period three, the melting point increases, so those metallic bonds must be getting stronger. So the positive lithium ions are attracted to those electrons in the sea of electrons, delocalized electrons. And that's an electrostatic attraction, a metallic bond. Now sodium ions are bigger, but they had the same charge. So that means that charge is more diffuse on this larger ion. So there's less electrostatic attraction. It has a lower charge density. And potassium ions have an even lower charge density still. They're bigger, and that positive charge is spread out over an even larger volume. And so that accounts for the weaker metallic bonds as you go down and the decreasing melting points. Now for magnesium ions, they're even smaller than sodium. They're two plus and there's twice as many electrons. That's a much bigger electrostatic attraction and so therefore a higher melting point. And the same idea applies to the aluminium. Even smaller, more electrons and a plus three charge resulting in an even higher charge density, stronger metallic bonds.